Hello there, and welcome to this video outlining functionality of the MassMotion Software Development Kit. The Software Development Kit, or SDK, allows the user to automate a variety of tasks and further customize MassMotion using a variety of coding languages. This video outlines three use cases for the MassMotion SDK, automation of geometry import, agent behavior and movement changes, and batch analysis and result generation. The first example shows how the SDK can automatically generate portal objects from existing geometry using a few dozen lines of code. In this example of a stadium, the existing geometry contains seats throughout the stadium bowl. These could be manually converted to portals and positioned over the existing aisles, but this is a time-consuming process, particularly for large stadia. To solve this, we have written a simple script that identifies all seat geometry in the model and creates a portal under each seat based on the lowest face of the geometry, which allows you to create journeys and begin the simulation. This example script is written in c -sharp. The MassMotion SDK supports Python, c -sharp, Java, and C++, offering a variety of options for users to interact with MassMotion through code. This script opens a MassMotion file, finds all objects that represent seats, in this case, seats have been converted to volume objects, and generates a new portal object. The outcome of this is a mass motion model that contains the correct number of portals in the correct position, drastically reducing time taken to create the required geometry. The SDK can also be used to customize agent behavior beyond the base software. These customizations can range from simple changes to the behavioral model to entirely custom movement algorithms. This example script shows an airport model where there is a need to have a number of agents run to their gate while still respecting the overall check-in and security process. Increasing agent speed is not currently possible within the MassMotion user interface, but this is straightforward using the SDK. By assigning the required agents a token in MassMotion when setting up the model, the user can leverage the SDK to edit all agents with that token to have an increased speed value. This way, the user can be clear when and where this token applies and audit this within MassMotion. This example script is written in Python. It shows some model initialization steps, defines agents and the agent token, and then changes the agent speed of all agents carrying the token to a new range of speeds. The script then runs a simulation and produces a mass motion database with the new agent behavior. This script can then be reused on multiple projects where this behavior is required. Beyond scripts that directly impact a single model, the SDK can also be used to write custom tools to streamline and automate the modeling workflow. This example looks at a retail mall where a user needs to run the simulation at various population levels and extract a series of maps. This is a common workflow and with a large number of scenarios can be time consuming to produce all the outputs. For this use case, the SDK has been used to create a more complex tool that can be used on a large variety of models. This script creates a workflow where a user enters a simple set of parameters into a file, the main arguments are the model location on a user's computer, bookmarks within the model, and various maps within the model. The script then creates a simple executable that allows users to select a highly simplified file to produce maps, images, and videos for multiple simulation runs for a variety of models at various populations. This example script uses a JSON file as the main user interface. The JSON file takes various inputs such as maps within the simulation, various bookmarks, and movie durations at multiple population levels. The user then clicks on the executable, selects the JSON, and the simulation runs multiple times, producing the required outputs in bulk. This example shows that the SDK can be used to create standalone tools to help automate entire workflows where one person with coding knowledge can unlock new functionality for a number of mass motion users and projects. As these three use cases demonstrate, the SDK can be used in a number of ways, from simple Python scripts to developing custom tools to suit particular workflows. There are many additional use cases that have been developed by users around the world. The MassMotion SDK is continually updated with new features, example use cases, and expanded documentation, adding more functionality and unlocking additional customization options for users. For more on the SDK and MassMotion, please see the OASIS website. Thank you.